warrior one, begin standing near 22 and 23. Step your right foot forward toward number seven, keeping in mind that if you're tall or very flexible, you might reach comfortably all the way to three, but if you're shorter or less flexible, you may only reach to 11. Parallel the second toe of your right foot with the vertical grid lines on the mat, and as you exhale, bend your right knee so that it stacks over your right foot. You'll strive to bring your right thigh as close to parallel to the floor as you're comfortably able. Remember to be sure that your right knee points directly forward, tracking over your second toe, not falling in toward number two. On an inhale, plant your left heel near 22 and point your toes toward 17. Exhale and look back toward the front of your mat. Inhale again, raising your arms over your head, keeping your hands about shoulder width apart, palms facing one another. Scoop your low belly in and be sure to seal the outer edge of your left foot down into the mat as you internally rotate your left thigh toward the midline of your body to help square your hips. Breathe deeply, lifting the chest, and on an inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, step the right foot back toward 23. For the second side, step your left foot toward number six, reaching the same distance you did on the first side. Parallel the second toe with the vertical grid lines on the mat, and then exhale to bend the left knee, stacking knee over ankle. Left knee will point forward over the second toe. Look back at your right foot, plant your heel down by number 23, and point the toes out toward 20 and inhale, draw the arms up overhead. As you exhale, be sure to draw your shoulders down and away from your ears. Seal the outer edge of the right foot to the mat, continue to draw the belly in and up, and be sure the left knee tracks forward over the second toe of the left foot. Soften the jaw and breathe deeply. When you're ready to come out, inhale, straighten the left leg, and exhale, step back to 22 and 23.